Hello and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about bentonite. Now, bentonite is a, uh, an absorbent swelling clay that's formed from weathering of volcanic rock in seawater. Um, there are two main areas that it's used for um, that I'm aware of. The first is a fining uh, in, in wine uh, and uh, other uh, brews, washes, things like that. And then the second thing is for uh, cosmetic masks, face masks. Um, and uh, yeah, it works quite well, for what I'm told. Now, I haven't really used this myself. Um, I thought I'd give it a go because there's not a great deal of information out there about um, bentonite and, and, and it works, how, how it works. So when I looked at it, I see that it breaks into two categories um, is you've got the calcium and a sodium bentonite. Now, both of them pretty much do the same job, work in the same way, except that they both leave behind trace amounts of their core, their core part. So the calcium one leaves behind calcium and the sodium one leaves behind sodium. Oh, when you're re if you're refluxing or, or generally distilling, most of that, if not all of it, should be caught in the still, um, so it isn't a problem. But obviously, if I had a choice, I would choose calcium every time over sodium. Sodium would be a lot more uh, salty. Um, so you got that. Now, the other thing to note is that obviously you've got the cal uh, belt bentonite you can buy from any retailer for face masks, and then you can go and get the bentonite from uh, some brewing shops. Uh, not all stock it. So is there a difference? Uh, the honest answer is I don't know. Uh, a lot of different review sites I've seen uh, are condemning the brewing um, bentonite that's like four or 10 times the price, saying it's exactly the same, there's no difference. Um, I don't know. And that's the whole idea of this, is to give it a try. So. I bought, um, I mean, I bagged it up, but 500 grams of Fuller's Earth, which is calcium bentonite. Um, because I don't want it to go off, because 500 grams is quite a lot, um, I've put them into little uh, 10 gram bags, uh, not to be um, confused with any other type of small powder bags you, you uh, power, um, fill up. So I'm gonna give this a try. I don't know if it will work. Um, different people think different things. A lot of people who don't think bentonite actually works, but there are a lot of wine kits that give bentonite. And what they recommend to do is to put the bentonite in on day one when you're creating the um, brew, because what it will actually do is, does is it helps to, to clear it. And the whole idea of what a fining does is you've got all these different particles inside your brew, um, and they're just in suspension. And they're just floating around. In time, they will drop, or most of them will drop. So what bentonite does is that then goes into suspension as well. It just grabs hold of the uh, particles that are in here, and it makes them so heavy, they just fall to the ground. And that's it, nice and simple. Now, this bag that I bought was 500 grams, and it cost me five pounds with free delivery from Amazon. Uh, there are other retailers available. I ha don't have any affiliated links or anything like that, but also I wouldn't want to suggest what to buy because I don't even know if this works. Um, I was just curious to see what, what it was like. So what I've done is I've done a tomato paste wash, and I've put four and a half liters in these four glass demijohns. This is going to be my control which I do nothing with it. This one, I'm gonna to put two grams of um, bentonite in there. This one, I'm gonna put five grams of bentonite in, and this one, I'll also put five grams. Now, the reason why these are the same is then after 48 hours, we'll come back and we'll have a look at the sediment to see if there is any and how much. And after 48 hours, this one, I will rack off and I'll put another five grams in. So this will get two doses, these, We'll get these two will get one dose and that will get none and then we can compare them see how much how different they are now the final thing obviously is should you be adding findings and trying to clear it um different people doing different things realistically no for a standard uh let's say reflux still if you're trying to get a neutral uh, spirit no you should be just throw it in cloudy but then you're getting a lot more work on the reflux the, the saddles and everything else in your column are going to get a lot dirtier, going to need to clean them a lot more. Myself, after every use, I always rinse out the saddles. Um, and then every four times, I will then take them out and I will then um, clean them with citric acid. Um, but I don't want to do that every time. 
and I don't really need to put too much pressure. I'm willing to give this a go and use other findings. Now, the you can't just add it straight in as powder because it's too heavy, um, because it's absorbent and it wants to turn into like a clay, uh, it will just fall to the bottom. So what you need to do is you need to add it into a container and add water. And we're going to do that in a second. Uh, now, the, I'm a bit dubious. So what I did was having a bit of research of well, how do you treat this powder to, to before you can actually add it in. Um, majority of people that I've seen say you adding like one to two teaspoons of powder to uh, was it one gallon um, of uh, wash or brew, whatever you want to call it. Um, so hence I'm trying to do the two and five grams and then just add some water at 60 degrees Celsius or I'm just using kettle water. Now, and then once, sorry, once it's uh, in there, stir it up, leave it for half an hour, an hour, do it again, and then leave it maybe 12 to 24 hours or even 48 hours entirely up to you uh, and mix it two or three times. Now, the reason why I'm dubious, this is one I made yesterday, 24 hours ago. And while you can't see it very easily, this has got five grams of bentonite in there. Uh, there's a bit of a sediment layer there. Now, once I mix this up, it mixes really well, and it takes an hour, two hours before it settles down. Not a great deal, but but a, a fair bit. And I do understand and expect that when I pour some in, some of it's just going to sink straight down, just like when you're adding yeast in. Now, this other five mil one, or five gram one I did, has got quite a bit of a thick layer uh, of sediment there. So will, will that happen in when I add it to this one, and it will just sink straight down? I don't know. And then the two gram one. You can see, obviously, it's a lot lighter. That's all oh, down there. That's a lot. So is this going to do anything? Now, if I tried a different brand of bentonite, will it work better than this? Possibly. It could be just this full as earth isn't very good. Um, if I try brewing bentonite, would it be any different? Well, possibly. And that's something I might do. Depending on how these tests go, if it goes reasonably well, or at least you can see a noticeable difference, then I might say, okay, well, let's go and buy some bentonite from another brand. And we'll do another test. And then I'll say, like, let's do another, uh, buy some from actual brewing shop, from or which has been designed for brewing, or they say it is. It might be identical. But I think those are something like five, six pounds for 100 grams compared to five pounds for 500 grams. So I don't know. We'll give it a go. Anyway, let's get to it. So what we need to do, you need some very fine digital scales. Um, now, these ones go from uh, 0.01 gram up to 100 grams. This is very precise because I'm only weighing out two grams. Obviously, uh, I need to be very careful. So let's get on and uh, make some... But mix up some bentonite. All right, switch on and zero the scales. Now, because I've already made up my two and the two five grams, which I'm going to be using today, this one here will be used for two days' time. So we want five grams. Yeah, that's close enough. 5.05 grams. Okay. So grab the bentonite, stick it in there, and then just pour in some water. This is uh, boiled a few minutes ago. It doesn't really matter how much water you got, but I think the more water you have, the more likelihood of it uh, all dissolving and uh, rehydrating because obviously there's more water in there to be for it to grab onto. There you can see the bits floating all around there. Okay, that's all I'm going to do now. I'm going to leave that for 24 hours. Well, to be honest, I'm going to probably leave this for an hour, two hours, and I'm going to stir it again. I'll keep stirring it every hour, two hours, two or three times. Um, then I'm going to put a cover on it and then just uh, leave it for uh, two days. But what I might do is then put it into a bottle, so at least that way it's airtight. Just move that out of the way. So we're now going to bring in our, this is what I made previously. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a stir. 
Now, normally you would be doing this obviously in a 25 litre or bigger bucket, so it'll be a lot easier with a big mixing spoon or paddle. So what I'm going to be doing is using a little funnel. And it's the way you need to pull up your sleeve. So, we'll pour the, this five gram one in first. Now, because we want it to get everywhere, you can see it's mixed up nicely, actually, but it's probably not mixed up as much as I'd like it to. So, I'm going to oh, pick it up, put my hand over it, and mix it all up. Really make sure that it's got everywhere. Done. Now I'm using rubber uh, rubber corks with holes in the middle. Uh, that's all I've got at the moment. I'm going to put a bit of paper or something over there. Okay. Apart from having a very wet hand, we are done. It's quite remarkable how you can see the colour has changed between them. These two are identical, which they should be. And uh, quite nice. So, done. Let's leave this for 48 hours. Well, it's been 48 hours. And I must admit, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is the control. As you can see, there's no actual yeast on there at all. If we go to the two mil bang look at that that's a nice lot of sediment and you can see it is actually quite a bit lighter now what's impressive is when we go to these two five grams again a lot of sediment more than the two gram because if you look here it's a, it's a nice sediment but this is a lot thicker and you can actually see that is the base we can see through. I'd be quite happy to run them all through my still. These two five gram ones are really good. So what I'm gonna do anyway, I'm gonna rack this off now, off camera, and then I'll put it back into here and I'll add another five grams now. I've already prepared uh, bah, 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 bah. Now as you can see, I prepared this two days ago trying to get the best angle and watch this you see how light it is quite cool so that's another five grams rack this off put this in there and then we'll, uh, we'll come back in 48 hours to see how it goes but i must admit right now i'm very very impressed with uh how it's working Ben tonight yeah that does seem to work Hello, apologies. So the plan was obviously to do this over two days for the second batch, our second dose. Uh, unfortunately, been a bit busy, so it's now been four days. So to recap, um, these have obviously had uh, been dosed. This one control hasn't. And the last one that I'm hiding um, has had two doses of five grams. Now, they're quite good. It's actually cleared quite a bit, this, this one that had five grams in there, the single dose, but what's shocking is this one. This is the one that's had two doses of five grams. What I find amazing is it just looks like uh, colored water. It really does. So this has had five grams, two days later, racked off another five grams, and this is now four days later after that. I definitely think obviously uh, the 10 grams for five liters is is perfect amount. Obviously, this is good, and I'd I'd be happy to distill this, but this is just to the next level. Now, the issue is, I don't know if it needed two doses or whether one dose of ten grams could have done it. So that's going to be another test. But anyway, let's take a closer look at how clear this is. So as you can see, this one here is still relatively clear. You can see through it and it looks quite good. But this one is just, if we put things behind it, it's just incredible. It really is. I, I never in my wildest dreams thought it would be this clear. 
So now we know that obviously we can do it. Ben tonight does work and it works really well. Uh, it, I'm just amazed, I say, over it. 